Hello and welcome to the Movie Burrito Podcast. I'm Mac. And I'm Rami. Uh, welcome, welcome to the Movie Burrito Podcast. Uh, this is episode three. Uh, back at you. Come and... Come and uh, pew, pew. <laughs> pew, pew. Coming back at you live. Not really live, well, is not it? Not really live. Yeah. But it's... Um, pre-recorded it's live. Pre-recorded live. I rate that. Yeah. It's better than live. I hate live, but... Uh, who likes life? Who likes life? Yeah, it, uh, it, it, it's it's uh, interesting. Uh, a lot of people are uh, hitting to the Twitch streams yeah. and all that, but it's boring for me. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't watch. I rather watch some gamer record it before and then and post like it. package it and edit it and uh, make uh, it funny. Yeah, yeah. Then just sit there. Yeah, guys. So my week was pretty good. Uh, did this? Oh, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> It's boring. How's your week been, Rami? Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, just some great news. Mm-hmm. Uh, yesterday, mm-hmm. um, something really beautiful happened yesterday. Yeah. Uh, no, I am not married. And no, my wife did not give birth. <laughs> but the Lakers won the 2020 oh, uh, yes. NBA championships. Oh, yeah. Round of applause for LeBron, fourth championship. So that uh, was the team you were cheering on? Look, I wasn't cheering them on. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you know, it's beautiful to see someone who's hated on so much prove when, the haters wrong. Yeah, you know, what, he's it, on his fourth, two more. He could be on MJ's level, and no one can question whether he's the goat or not. Mm. You know, but it was it was it was an amazing series. Loved it. Good games. So I'm just happy with that. That that made my week, to be honest. The game was it entertaining? The game was a blowout. The last game was so the game before. Entertaining as hell. Mm. So Sunday, mm-hmm. psh, game was beautiful. Um, they won, I think, by two points. Um, two points. Uh, Miami won by just two points. The game before. Oh, yeah, the game yeah. before. So, so if Lakers had won on Sunday, that was it. Lakers won. Okay. But Miami um, went up, so it was four two. Yep. Uh, three two. Yep. So then Lakers just blew them out by the third quarter. It was wow. like thirty points up. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 points is a massive uh, big gap. gap. Yeah, big gap. Yeah, yeah. Big gap. I, I watched the Michael Jordan documentary and I felt... Uh, oh, uh, and I on really, Netflix? Yes, yes. I How really, good is it? I really like that. I really, really... Uh, as a, a person who doesn't follow basketball... Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's really interesting to see how the uh, I like how they focused on the game and they really diverged into personal details yeah. sparingly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But but really the, at the heart of doc- documentary was about Michael Jordan and the the 1998 team. 1996. 1996 to 1998. Right. 1996, 1997. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that team and it ended 97, right? And after that, it was broken yeah, up. Yeah, yeah they yeah. broke up. Yeah, yeah. It's, but it's such a beautiful. Do- it's actually a really good documentary. Did you finish it off? Yeah, I yeah. Think. I was uh, every I week. I was so. waiting for it because because Netflix, what they did is they scheduled release. Yeah, it was scheduled release because I think um, it was on HBO. Yeah. Um, so they were scheduling the releases every yes. every. So every week was two episodes were being released. Mm. Um, so it was like two, four, six, eight. I, I watched it over a period of like three week, four week, or maybe a month. Yeah, it was like, the same how it was released. I'd get back home from work and I'd be smashed, put a plate in the microwave and, and, and just like put on the TV and nobody's watching TV. So I'll, I'll, I'll just like watch 15 minutes segment, yeah. move on. I have, uh, uh, I'm, I'm blessed with uh, good memory. So I'm, I'm able to pick up shows yeah. shows and movies where whenever I want. So it, it wasn't a problem picking up. And plus, it was really inter- uh, it was, it's really interesting, interesting documentary. Really well paced and really well edited as yeah. well. Yeah. How did you uh, uh, did you notice how like little things would get Michael Jordan to be like? He said that. Mm. Like I had to go. I had to get in my mood and just play, like everything. Like um, as in like what? Like for what example, one player would tell him, "Oh, this is just an example." No one ever said. No one said this. To him. But for example, for example, for example, someone said to him. Uh, oh, your shooting's a bit off today. My shooting's a bit off today. Oh, okay, I'm gonna. Prove and then you he wrong. drops like fifty points. All right, right, right. Did you notice yes, it? Yes. <laughs> oh, that was like one of the major themes of Michael Jordan's basketball career. It's there were so many memes released straight after. Right. Oh, he said this about me. I had to drop fifty okay. points. <laughs> <laughs> How was your week? Yeah. Oh, well, it was. It's um pretty intense. Pretty uh, pretty. It, it shifted drastically from last week. Uh, suddenly a curveball hit me and. Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, work's still going good. 
but curveball. Uh, yeah, curveball. You know, the discussion we had uh, before. Oh. Yeah, that was a curveball. That discussion that we had, it hit me out of nowhere, and all of a sudden, I had to get prepared and all this stuff. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, yeah. I had to. Uh, you had hit, to return the camera. Uh, no, no, ab- <laughs> absolutely not. I will never return the camera. Uh, but uh, 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 I had to. <coughs> Bless. Uh, I had to uh, hit the curveball like Michael Jordan hits that baseball. Well, he did when he played. When when, he played and he failed before. miserably, mm. just like me. Failing well, miserably. Let's hope you don't fail miserably like that. Oh, yeah, I hope I don't. Oh, yeah. There's um, many balls. There were many balls um, in my. But, it swing, swung in my face. But um, let's hope, you know, one shot, one hit, one. One hit, one done. Not like Michael thing. Jordan. Yeah, no. Yeah. More like Cindy Lauper. Don't know who that is. Oh, okay. I'm I, just... I know. I know the the uh, the Sultan of Swat. Sultan of Swat. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sad uh, lot. Sad lot. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is it? Sultan of Swat. The, uh, uh, the Great Bambino. The Great Bambino. Um, I can't remember the other Babe Ruth nicknames. God, oh, we need to watch that movie on Movie Brewery. Nah, I think we did. You know Sad lot. But what, one but, or two, or three. No, one. One. One is untouchable. Okay. One. One is the Godfather. It is. Yeah. But um, it's amazing. But uh, but I hate kind of talking about um, uh, movies we love. I kind of want to spice it up a bit with like movies we hate, or or I want to actually do a reactionary um, uh, uh, a series on yeah. the channel where me and you sit down and re- react to let's say you speak about about Twilight a lot, and which is just... uh, tied into the uh, update channel segment mm-hmm. of uh, this podcast where. I, I'm thinking about um, we, we, me yeah, and you sit yeah. down on a couch and we watch like Twilight because you've talked about it so much and you just get my reaction and uh, and we record commentary over the movie and we cut it up yeah. and take out the funniest parts. What I do you think, think about I reckon that? I love that Oops. idea. Ooh. Yep. I love that idea. Yep. I'm down for that one. I'm down for that one as well. We watch, there's so many movies I hate. Yeah. We can watch um, Hi Mark. What's that? What's the movie? Uh, Oh, what's the movie called? I can't remember. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So well, updates on our channel. Updates on our channel. Yeah, so we're th- thinking about um, doing something like that, Reaction. like reactionary. Yeah. Um, funny, more for humor. I, uh, To be honest, I hate reaction videos. Can't stand them. But, I think this, is, but this is different. But this is different. This yeah. is just basically... Uh, watching movies we don't like. Yeah. Not watching movies we like or yeah. new releases. Yeah. We've also released our first uh, episode. Yes, we've on released YouTube. Yes, you can find the Movie Burrito mm-hmm. YouTube, mm-hmm. Uh, Movie Burrito on SoundCloud, mm-hmm. uh, Spotify, Movie Burrito, mm-hmm. and I think I think Amazon Prime as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, or not Amazon Prime, Amazon Podcast. Yes, Movie Burrito as well. Nice. So and and just a note, um, because I'm editing the YouTube stuff, the episodes may change in terms of looks. Yeah. Um, I noticed that. When I edit them, um, depending on what uh, effect slash filter I put on the video, it slows down the render. And I had to render a vi- the second episode for like 12 hours. Wow. Yeah. And I've got a high-end PC as well. So I was mm. like, uh, something's wrong, man. I, 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 I render it in 1080p. I render it in like one... So uh, one uh, 44? No, like bit rate. I target bit rate. I put out yeah. one. Um, something's not right. So if you do notice any changes in the look of the episodes then forgive me, but uh, I, I really, I'm doing this podcast for myself and to have a talk with you. So I'm just trying different things. Uh, look, I'm excited. We've mm. had some some viewership on our SoundCloud, six mm. viewers on, on our YouTube. Whoop, on whoop. YouTube. <laughs> you know what? Starting <laughs> off with six viewers, that's not that bad. I, I, have, no, I have no problems with uh, that. If you're going to watch, please like and subscribe. Uh, just yeah, subscribe, honestly. I guess so. I, I mean, I really don't care. At the end we don't care, but <laughs> like, you know, just... Mm. It's it's cool finding out that people are listening to you. I guess so. I yeah. don't know. I find it interesting. Yeah. No, it's from your right. Um, so yeah. Uh, That's not. So, um, did you watch anything during the week? I did. What did you watch? I watched the Enola Holmes. Enola Holmes. Yes. What is that related to Sherlock Holmes? So so it's a rendition, a rendition on Sherlock Holmes. Mm-hmm. So she's just the sibling. She's the daughter. Right. Um, the father's passed away. Sherlock and his brother, uh, Mycroft, have moved out. Mm-hmm. Um, so this girl lives with her mum, raised by her mum, doesn't go to traditional school. Is this a Netflix thing? Yeah, mm-hmm. schooled at home. Um, it's all about women empowerment. However, it doesn't do the cheesy women empowerment stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very sarcastic, very humorous. It's got the girl from Stranger Things. 
the uh, the 11? alien the eleven. Yep, mm-hmm. it's got her. She's the she's main. She's an act. alien. Oh, I don't know what she's in okay. Stranger Things. Sorry, I diverging remember. again. I can't remember. <laughs> um, she's she's the main character in this. She does really well. I think she does what's, really what's well. What's the main uh, uh, theme or plot about? Like just again discovering. Uh, uh, sorry, solving murders. Is that what it is? Saving it's solving a mystery, not a murder. Solving a mystery, um, while at the same time trying to evade one of her brothers who's trying to force um, old-fashioned women. Uh, Who's Sherlock or Minecraft? Minecraft. Sherlock Sherlock uh, adores her. Of course he does. Because she has the same. They have the same intellect. Like they're very snoopy and Mm-mm. you know can deduce things. Mm. That's basically about. That's basically it. It's really good. I, I found that really. How many movie. episodes? It's it's a movie. It's oh, a movie, movie, yeah. movie, yeah. yeah. I true. feel like they're running out of ideas if that if that's the case. It, look, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. Okay. I found it to be a good movie. It wasn't it what it wasn't cheesy where they were like, oh, I'm a woman, I'm strong and I can do whatever I want. Mm. You know? Mm. It was more like it was subtled, you know, she's a strong woman, she's mm. learned combat. Mm. And then she's able to fight mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. It was, I think, I think it was done like, not okay. like how Avengers, all the women. Yeah, came out. that was a bit of a funny moment in a very, in an otherwise very serious scene, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> very serious. I, I have look, I have major problems with uh, Avengers. Yeah, and the whole we know, we know. F- yes, I don't need to you blabber know. on about that again and again. Well, Do you watch any movies this week? No, I didn't. I, I only watched our topic movie again because uh, this week was intense. Mm. Um, I tried watching one movie on a lazy Sunday. Uh, it's it, it's this old black... No, not old. It's a... Uh, no, new. I think it was last year. It's called Cold War. I don't know if you heard of it. It's a black and white movie made by, um, I think, this Polish director. Yeah, no, not many people have heard about this, unfortunately. But um, the, 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 the start... Was pretty. It, it's like a, it's like a, introduction that, is unexpectedly, silent and reserved. You know what I mean? Like mm. usually when a movie starts, it starts off bombastic, Bond mm. on a chase. You know what I mean? But this one is like. There are these people doing something you don't know what they're talking about, and they're not going to give you any exposition because they assume that you're smart enough to figure it out. And 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 the movie is a bit like Tenant. No, 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 no. It's not oh, like okay. an intellectual thing. It's more like um. It's just you, you should he, know the backstory these, of Cold War. No, 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 no. Oh, it's okay. uh, it's here are these people coming into town, um, recording people. You mm. Like at first, why are these people recording people? Mm. And then the, once the next scene hits, um, you find out that they're holding auditions. It's like oh. Put, click two and two together. They don't need to tell you anything. These guys are recording people in order to um, get a taste of what these people are capable of. So therefore, they're holding an audition. A, th- a thousand people rock up to a town and one of them is this cheeky blonde-haired girl and the guy holding the audition develops this... You can see in his eyes that he somewhat desires her mm. and all that without anyone having to tell me anything. So that's what I mean by... Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Um, worthy of... In intellectual is a good movie did you find it to be a good movie I th- I, well like I said I've only watched like 20 minutes oh, of it okay. but um, I, I, I'm planning on continuing it like I said I, I have the ability to cut off a movie and then get sure. back onto it and without without having to think about much uh, of it before we move on I yes. have one question yes. Go on. do you watch The Boys I was recommended that a thousand times and I'm preparing to jump onto it because oh yeah I recommend it can yeah. I just say for anyone that does watch The Boys yes what a what an ending to the second season! What an ending! Oh, really? Amazing! Yeah, this show is amazing. Okay, they made fun of uh, the Avengers. They had, of course, they did. The, they had the three women, but it was a fake movie, and they're like, "You can't stop us. We're empowered women." It was hilarious. Yeah, they, like made they fun were of mocking. That. They yeah. were mocking. Yeah, the idea. Yeah, I found it hilarious. Uh, but I, 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 um, uh, sorry. I, I, it, it was the boys making fun of how. In the mainstream, they promote them at the, as these powerful women, but in behind the scenes, they're victims of, of people no, no, abusing no. them. No, no, they were just making fun of the idea that, like, this cheesy scene that pops up. Right, that's right. what they were making fun. It's of. like a parody. Yeah, the the whole, I think the movie is a parody. Yeah, yeah. It's a parody on superheroes. Yeah, yeah. Um, where the superheroes are the bad guys. Right, right, right. But they're superheroes saving people, quote right, unquote. Right. So I, I think the. Um, it's very gruesome. Mature audience. Yeah. Uh, sorry, the what? What do you call those it's things? The, references. The, re- the rating. Rating. Yeah, yeah. rating. I can't believe it's that R18. my mind. Man. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
It's rape scenes. It's gruesome. It's wait, which one? Oh, dude, yeah. there like, was one I think in the first season, but it wasn't. Like they're going balls out, hey? It wasn't a rape rape scene. Okay. It was a rape scene, but it wasn't like it wasn't gruesomely penetration. No, rape okay, scene. Sure, yeah. sure, 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 sure. It was like other. It was more like um uh, um sexual uh, abuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Like she was forced to go down on the guy. Which is rape. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, when I said, uh, like I said, no, there wasn't penetration or rape. It right, was right. different rape. That's what well, I Well, um, may we never have to be in this situation. May we, and we pray no, no woman has to be in that situation. We, do. we, yeah. do. we don't make fun uh, of these. these um, we're not. Um, these, these situations. No, they were, making, we they were making fun of, so what they were doing was, you know, the Harvey Weinstein, the whole Hollywood thing. Right. That's, that's what, what they were that's in reference to. That's what I assume, to. that's yeah. what I told you because yeah, 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 yeah. In, the, in the movie, they're portrayed as these um, strong women who mm. make their own choices. Mm. But in reality, these are victims of powerful men who yeah. abuse them, yeah. which is basically Harvey Weinstein yeah. for a long time promoting Hollywood promoting that women are powerful, women are this, women are that, and whereas behind the scenes you have this whole they're being abused. Hollywood yeah. conspiracy. I, I, I'm not a conspiracy guy, but yes, there was Me Too movement has proved something yeah. to us, and that is that Hollywood is not what it seems to yeah. be, um, and ho Hollywood knew this. But you know, I guess we'll promote women and power. The the, the second scene did a great job of analyzing um, the racial tension in America. It did an amazing job. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, mm -hmm. in in the last episode of season two, mm -hmm. the main one of the main uh, perpetrators of, of of whatever happens, I'm not, I don't want to ruin it. Mm -hmm. um, states we are at war because people want white genocide. I'm leaving it at that, and I mic drop at that too. I mic drop white genocide. The main hero. No, you just gotta watch it to understand. I like, think I think don't tell me anymore because I yeah, do want to watch it because yeah. I've been. Uh, it was yeah. just hilarious. Like I was watching it last, I think yeah. the other night, and then I heard white genocide. I yeah. just couldn't stop laughing. Dude, uh, I heard something about that in the real life social media. Yeah, uh, same, no, same that, reaction. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like it's hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's move on to uh, lost, lost in translation lost. because we are running out of time. Yeah, but we uh, are. Um, well. that's fine. Um, so Lost in Translation, I thought I'd um, do something different this time mm. um, for Lost in Translation. Basically, um, because I recommended it, I'll just basically explain the plot yeah. um, uh, loosely. Mm. And I'll also explain my opinion in the in, in the plot. Was basically, I wrote down uh, a love letter to mm. Lost in Translation. It's a review, it's an explainer, and it's my personal opinion. Just to um, wrap my thoughts up coherently in a nice letter. Yeah. Um, um, I figured I'll do this as much as I can for every other movie. It might be a hate letter, it might be a love letter. You never know what you're going to get. It's like a movie burrito podcast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, Lost in Translation, 2003, directed and written by Sofia Coppola, Coppola, is a drama centered on the bonding relationship of Bob Harris, an actor, movie star, who is way past his time, and Charlotte, a young newly married woman, doesn't seem to be enjoying her relationship with her neglectful ph ph uh, photographer husband who may or may not be cheating on her. When Bob, played by Bill Murray, and Charlotte, played by Scarlett Johansson, cross paths in the bar of a towering hotel during one of their sleepless nights, they instantly connect over that fact. Soon they discover more than that as they cross paths again and again. They discover that they are equally strangers in a world they don't seem to understand, with people that they cannot understand. This does not only apply to their scenario in Japan, but also the external world and inner world. And by that I mean, at two different generations, they ironically find themselves lost. One doesn't know who they want to be, while the other doesn't know who they have become. Different predicament, same problem. Lost in Translation is indeed epic, not in scale, with its $4 million budget, but in its exploration of relationships, emotions, complexities, and observances. What made Lost in Translation so special to me are the moments in between. The silent uh, stares, humorous, awkward moments, original and authentic characters. For me, Lost in Translation is what makes cinema transcendent. Something that reaches out to me, not through visuals and sounds, but something else. Do not ask me to explain it because I cannot. And that's... Oh, thank you. 
that's my love letter to Lost in Translation slash plot explanation. You know what? You gave me a new uh, uh, an appreciation for that movie oh, after wow. the reading that. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I read it out then. <laughs> because I had no appreciation for that movie until you read, what? Until you read it. Oh, okay. my God. Okay. okay. Uh, tell me, okay. tell me what you thought, coherently okay. and simply. I thought it was a good movie, mm-hmm. right? But, man, it was so slow. Really? So slow. I just wanted to kill myself. Okay. I was like, bro, hurry yeah. up mm-hmm. and just get to the point. Okay. And then it kept dragging on. And then, like, when it started getting to the meaty... Half an hour in, I would say, is when um, the relationship takes off. When they first meet or the second meet? No, when they first meet, it's around 10 minutes in. Yeah, the second Half an hour is when they start... um, Bantering. Yes, and Mm. going out. Well, that first um, uh, night out, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it got to the juicy bit and I was like, oh, finally. Mm -hmm. And then... Okay, so what I liked about it is that these two people, you could tell, had a attraction to each other, mm-hmm. but didn't want to, you know, uh, um, do anything with that attraction because of the people they were with, mm. right? Mm. But you could tell that they didn't want to be with these people anymore. Like mm. Bill Murray didn't want to be with his wife anymore. If you listen to the way that he talks to her and they talk to each other, I I love his sarcastic humor. When I it love comes Bill to Murray. That. I love Bill yeah, Murray yeah, yeah. every ever since Ghostbusters. Mm, 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 I've loved Bill mm, Murray. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Scarlett Johansson, I've loved when I was a young kid. Mm. That's a different story, but mm. that wasn't more. About, that wasn't about acting. <laughs> Oh, really? I never knew. <laughs> Disney child stars uh, uh, memory. Anyway, 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 anyway. Go on. Um, and you see the way uh, Scarlett Johansson's character with her with her husband, yeah. the interaction between their, mm, mm. like, it, I understand, like, I got the movie, I get it. Mm-hmm. And once he got into the movie, I was like, oh, thank God. Mm. Okay, now it's a good movie. Mm. And then It's a just, short movie. It is, but it was just slow, man. Mm. What do you slow. think was so slow about it? Just the silence, the, mm. the the constant looking around. Like Scarlett Johansson, every time Scarlett Johansson, she's either looking out the window for like five minutes or she's, you know, traveling Japan, looking, you know, trying to find, I guess Meaning. herself. Yeah. If you, if you think about it, yeah. like in the in the first in one of the first scenes when she goes to the temple, she starts she's on the phone with her friend crying. How realistic was that scene? That that engagement, it's like she starts off crying. Right? Yeah. She starts off, I'm in a mode of panic and 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 sadness and loneliness. Let me call someone I trust. She calls, she bursts out, tells her, she wasn't listening. Okay, don't worry about it. The moment's over. You've mm. ruined it. Close. Yeah, it, it is realistic. That you know, scene was so like exemplary of life. Yeah, and like you, you could, you could, you could be going through something in life, mm. and you want to call someone, and it could be your best friend, it could be your sibling, mm-hmm. it could be whoever. And oftentimes they don't care. They don't care, but sometimes they're just too busy to care because they've got other things going on in their life. You know, and you realize that life doesn't revolve just around you. Exactly. Life revolves around, like, everyone has their own it's a mo- life it, going on. But that's what I love about the setting in Japan because it's like, you look at Japan, yeah? Mm. Everyone to themselves. Mm. Everyone's on the p- pachinko, what is it? Pachinko machines? Those those little arcade mm. gambling gambling m- machines? Or reading uh, manga. Or, or reading manga. And at one point, a person was reading a filthy manga and she was looking at it. I was like, what's <laughs> going on? But that's normal there. Yeah, yeah. and... and I, I just think the setting in Japan is perfect because it, it's heading Japan is in a world where I feel like uh, this is my own interpretation mm. um, and, and, and stop me when I'm rambling on for too long, please. Mm. Um, Japan is basically the, the dream that Marx dreamed of, mm. that utopia where, where the, the work... Did you work, say Marx? Marx... Uh, uh, um, the the, Karl, the philosopher Karl, Karl, Karl Marx, Marx yeah. Karl Marx, where uh, economy hmm. is the sole priority uh, of a nation, and I don't mean economy in a monetary sense. I mean economy as in economy of relationships, the economy of. Um, well, isn't that social? Isn't that a bit like socialism? Oh, yes, no. yes, yeah? and yes, and no. Socialism is a, is a 
is a branch off of my. Mm. I, I, again, I don't know much about it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not yeah. claiming anything, but like, if, any, if Japan has achieved anything, it's material utopia. Mm. Everything is there. It is. You have the freedom to read whatever man- manga you want, to create whatever art you want, and you have and and people uh, work until their brains are, are are just like fried, and you have like. A, and and uh, what what are the ramica- ramifications of that? Total and utter social tragedy. Mm. And that's why I feel like um, Sofia Coppola was genius in placing these two characters here because these are in. These are in at a point in their lives where um, one is um, at a middle age, one is beginning their life, and they're lost um, uh, both, socially, both. emotionally, yeah. and all that. Yeah. And where better place to put that in the most socially lost, emotionally lost, a nation where um, people aren't getting married anymore, people aren't interacting anymore. People, there's there's uh, some problems hidden underneath. Mm. And I'll, I'll, that's what I'll say about that. So I'll leave you some room to speak about the movie as well. Yeah. <laughs> So you yeah. don't have anything? No, else no, no. Yeah. I do, I do. Mm. But uh, like, mm. I liked what she did with how they were lost in in within themselves. Yes. But at the same time, they were lost in the actual like physically. They were lost inside yes. Japan. Like you could right. tell they didn't know what the hell they were no, doing. No, no, not even the speaking. Who they're speaking yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one. Like the best thing, <laughs> the best, <laughs> the funniest sense was Bill Murray. Oh no, I, I <laughs> love this. <laughs> was Bill Murray. Interacting with the director. With the director. Oh my god. I <laughs> could not no, stop. No. Lo- stop one lo- was like uh passion, passion. Yeah. And the other one was like uh put your hand on but yeah. he didn't like say like Roger it. Mo? <laughs> Roger Mo? Oh, you know, I like Sean Connery much better. <laughs> Bro, I, I love bro, I love You don't understand him. I was crying. I was laughing my bro, ass like off. the scene the scene where he's where he's the first one where the guy's like yelling at him is like, I want more intensity. Yeah. yeah. You know? Intensity. <laughs> How he looks at him, intensity. Oh, it's like, there's no better time. Like, I forgot the alcohol uh, name. But anyway, yeah. yeah. And then the second one is... Century when, time. Century time. And the other guy is just like, just like, uh, Kim Purs, Purs. Right back, you know, right back. Uh, and then right he's, back. Like, he's like, put your hand, but he doesn't say it mm. correctly enough. And the guy's like, what do you want me to do with yeah. my hand? And he's like, you just want to do it. It's not natural. <laughs> <laughs> I the love best. it. Was, oh, the interactions were amazing. The casting of Bill Murray in this movie is genius. Just genius. You know, when I first saw it, I was like, Bill Murray in a, rom- a romantic. A serious artistic Drama. But yeah. romantic at the romantic, same time. Yeah. Like, oh. like I've seen him in Ghostbusters. He can be romantic, yeah, but that's yeah. just sarcasm. That's sarcasm. You know? I was like, oh, we'll see. And you know what? It is. It was good. Like, he did a good job. Yeah. Of. Who would have expected Bill Murray and, Sh- and Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, well, yeah, honestly. When you told me the movie, I looked it up. I was like, Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson? What the hell? But they work so well together on well, screen. That's weird. Yeah. I'm not lovey dovey type. Like, I don't, I don't, I, right, I don't like to watch. You've, you've recommended yeah, In the this Mood movie. for Love and, and all you've this. You've recommended stuff. like three movies. If you're a cheesy guy, it's okay. You know, Look, some I, women love this. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with being cheesy. I just, I don't like to be uh, lovey dovey all the no, time. I don't know about that, buddy. <laughs> I don't know about that. Not from the women that you've heard of <laughs> speaking about me. <laughs> How plentiful they are, um, but what, yeah. What, um, did, what did you re- look? You know, honestly, after watching the movie, thinking about it, mm-hmm. drive over here. Mm-hmm. I had a set rating of the movie. Okay, right. <clears throat> Hearing your letter mm-hmm. and then talking it out, mm-hmm. I have a new rating and mm. a, and a new appreciation for the movie. I actually have mm. a new appreciation. Okay, for the movie. you know what that shows, Rami? No, honestly, you will love the movie the second time. You reckon? You will. You will. Because I watched this the first time. I was like, this is a good movie. I'm never going to watch this again. Yeah. And then I thought about it. I was like, let me give this one more shot. And suddenly, it's usually the best movies are like that. Always. Mm. Always. Whether it's, um, you know, one of my favorite movies, Social Network, mm. Godfather, um, Assassin- Assassination of Jesse James by the mm. Cal Robert mm. Ford. I love those movies, right? Always the first time I watched those movies, I was like, that's a good movie. Never going to watch that again. Really? Yes. Oh. Always. First time. Second time, I give it another shot because I have free time. Mm. During my university days, now I don't have much free time. Mm. During my university days, I, I chuck it on and I was like, man, this is a great movie. Mm. Third time, I usually, like Moneyball as well. Mm. Um, third time, masterpiece. Fourth time, greatest movie of all time. 
That's it. So it takes four movies for it to be four 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 views before it becomes movie. Of but doesn't version. that make sense? Yeah, it does. It does because because you start because you analyze the movie for, like the first time you're watching a movie, you're not analyzing. Mm. You're just watching, enjoying. It. You're yeah. trying to. Then the second and sometimes you don't enjoy the movie. Yeah, you know. And then those movies like if if it's not enjoyable for you in the beginning, mm-hmm. you might not. You know, you're not gonna find that it's gonna be a good movie. But you know, like artistic movies for you, you find it enjoyable. Yes. Right. Yes. So the movie, you may think the movie is not that good, but because you enjoy watching it, mm-hmm. watching an artistic movie, you mm-hmm. would watch it again. Mm. And so, like the second time, you you're analyzing it a bit more. And the third time, you analyze it more. Mm-hmm. And the fourth time, you're just like, okay, I've analyzed it, and this is by far, you know, I, it makes sense. It makes sense. Stanley Kubrick once said, um, you know, I'm gonna paraphrase. I don't remember. Yeah, but yeah. Stanley Kubrick once said, uh, you know, if you watch if you watch films only to watch it once. Um, then it's not it's not art it's mm. just a film it's just a movie if you watch a film and it draws you back and it keeps on bringing you back then it transcends film it becomes art yeah and that's to me what makes cinema cinema it's so uh, to me cinema is like um like a like a painting to some snobby I am snobby in a way um, to some uh, you to know not, to uh, yeah. Uh, look at this painting of Aristotle. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? the, yeah. the, the death of Socrates. Ooh. <laughs> you know? Renaissance. The, the 16th chapter. I have, I have one story. I just want to say this. I just want to because you mentioned Renaissance. Yeah. So I was teaching once yes. and I was talking about the Renaissance to Year 7. Yes. Right? Because we were talking about um, uh, fairy tales or something, right? Yeah. And we were talking about Renaissance and I asked the students, are. Uh, they're like, oh, what's Renaissance? I said, it's during the period of, you know, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, like these type of, you know, people, they, they, it was artistic, very invent, like people inventing things, sort of that kind of stuff. To summarize it. Yeah. And I was like, does anyone know Leonardo da Vinci? Hmm. And then one student raised her hand. She said, yeah, yeah, I know da Vinci. I said, yeah. She goes, yeah, he makes that designer brand. I said, sorry, what designer brand? She what goes, da Vinci. I was like, no, that's <laughs> not the guy. <laughs> <laughs> the guy does the son of This is Leonardo da, da Vinci, Vinci yeah. not Givenchy. Oh my god. I couldn't remember a time when I didn't know Leonardo da Vinci. What happened to the kids nowadays? <laughs> They're on TikTok, bro. Oh no. This, the, my, 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 my teacher that was monor- my, monitoring me was dying laughing. I was <laughs> like crying. The students had no idea what was yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found it. I just. I, of course you're going to find it. Sidetracked, but, no, but I had to. It was, no, it's it's a good story. No, so it, it is a good story. I like that. I like um, hearing uh, kids learn about new stuff. It's mm-hmm. very interesting to, yeah. to think about, actually. They, they, yeah. That's weird. So, what do you? What was your rating of the movie? I have a rule. Mm. Um, to me, no movie is a ten out of ten. Okay. No movie ever. Okay. Uh, because I can always find a flaw in my favorite movies of all time, including this one. Okay. So it's it's impossible for me to give any movie ten out of ten. Okay. But people use that logic. Yeah, don't give me that face. Oh, uh, ooh, Aristotle. <laughs> ooh, I'm the queen. Ooh. <laughs> no. Um. What, what, t- I can't find one movie which stands stands out. I think. At one point, I told you Social Network is my favorite movie of all but time. You don't find Ask me time. now. What is it? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's no longer Social Network. I told you. Yeah. It, told you it's not no, no, movie. but it's still a great movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all. You need to watch it again. I've, bro, I've watched it three times. No, you, you haven't I've watched it a fourth. Seen, you haven't appreciated it. I've watched it three times and I'm still like, bro, this is such a shit movie. Oh, come on. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, your rating would be a nine then? Uh, yes. Okay. I give this movie a nine. Uh, my, one, my one was originally a six and a half. Mm-hmm. Now it's a seven and a half. Nice. I I uh, I give it nine burritos out of ten burritos. I give I like. You know what? Oh, wow. That's a new thing. We're doing that from now on. Oh, that's actually a, <laughs> yes. That's on our YouTube. We're gonna put nine burritos oh, out yeah, of ten burritos. I give it. I give it seven and a half burritos. Nice. I can eat that many burritos. From from Guzman and uh, from from. Are those nice? Yeah, they are amazing. I love it. They have a, they have a good deal. Forty dollars. Are if, they are they kosher? Uh yes. They are kosher for for our try, Jewish. Try guess. Try guess what religion we are. <laughs> <laughs> we follow. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. they are. Yeah. Uh, look, uh, they are. But then someone told me they weren't. So because apparently they cook everything on the same grill. So I'm just gonna go with they are, mm. and ignore that what he said because it's it's a good. Um, 
It's a good burrito. Restaurant and it's a cracker burrito. All right, forget all that you believe in. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. It's a good, it's a good restaurant. But mm. yeah, I give it seven and a half uh, burritos out of ten burritos. I think that's a good score. So you're telling me, you know what? Sack that that segment can go can go for next week. Okay. The ten out of ten. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me no movie can be a ten okay, out of ten. Okay, let's discuss that. Yeah. Um. Um. Try find me a movie that's perfect. Okay. Either you can go with Godfather 1 or 2. Godfather 1 is too long. How How is that a flaw? That's a flaw. That's not a flaw. The runtime is can be a flaw, yes. No, yeah. no. Godfather 1, the, the, the flaw, the, the, the sunny, idea that... Sunny, Sunny, yeah. when he hits um, his sister's husband, yeah. is the most uh, cheesiest, jankiest hit I've ever seen in my life. Go to watch it. Watch that clip again. So what? But they, it was fake. But those aren't. But those aren't. Those aren't like critiques. Like if you're telling, if no, you they get, are critiques. They're technical flaws. That's uh, warranted. Okay, 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 That's, okay. That is warranted of more critique than any subjective um, okay, criticism. Okay, you want to. You don't want to give that because of the running time. Running time. I've never heard that one like. Why, bro? You just. You just. Godfather one. You just criticized Lost in Translation for being um uh, too uh, slow. Too slow. But not slow in the thing. Slow in its getting to the point. What? Slow in its in its script, slow in its storytelling. That's what Doesn't I'm that criticizing. Consist of time? No, that's different. Running time if you... and wait, wait, running time and slow in time in terms of getting to the point mm-hmm. are two different things. That's, They're two very different that's things. Too, that's uh, uh... running time can be running time when you're talking about running time is that they've put so much stuff in there mm-hmm. that that's why it's that long. Mm-hmm. It's only a minute. Uh, if we if we're going with time, mm-hmm. it's only a minute and forty, right? Whatever. Uh, Lost in translation was a minute and forty. An hour and forty. An hour and forty. My bad. <laughs> I don't know why. It's I said a big it a minute. difference. Yeah. Um. I think around an, an hour, an hour and forty. Yes. Yeah. Yep. But it's the, not. It's not like they were trying to chuck things in there and still make it slow. Like it was slow for a reason. I understand your uh, you your get what point. I'm saying? But they they both criticisms of time. So I'll give you an example. Lost in Translation, the, the reason why you thought that Lost in Translation was slow is because um, the moving on from scene to scene in your um, uh, in your perception, mm. you thought it took longer. Mm. Okay, so that's a critique of time. Me, I thought that Godfather, the entirety of the movie, just like how you thought every scene was longer than it should be, which made it slow, was slow. So you think Godfather was slow? I don't think Godfather was slow. It was just... Too long of a movie. I don't think... I think everything... Okay, what about my criticisms of Sonny? Can you fault me for that? No, you can't. I will will think. Godfather 2, you're telling me it can't be 10 out of 10. I like Godfather 1 better than Godfather 2. It doesn't matter. You're telling me Godfather 2 cannot be a 10 out of 10? No. You know why? Too long. (laughs) Honestly. It's too long for my... It's too long for me. I, I don't I don't come back to it and I don't watch it again and again. But I I watch it like you, you probably yearly, yeah, yeah, yeah. three years, yeah, yeah. every two years, every you know? couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um um. Don't get me wrong, like it's hard to find critiques of these movies. Okay, but you okay? So I just want to understand this here because honestly, I have no other movie that's ten out of ten except for these two movies. That's that's my my opinion. That's your opinion, yes. Yeah. Of of any movie, I completely understand. Of all movies that have been released. From the time they created movies till today, so Shakespeare. I'm guessing Shakespeare. No, I'm joking, not Shakespeare. But, but from enough. the time from the time they've created films mm-hmm. till today, mm-hmm. there's there has not been a movie like Godfather one and two where you can consider them ten out of ten. That's my opinion mm. of all movies. There are nines, there are nine and a halves, but Godfather one and two are both tens out of tens for me. Mm. Right. So you don't consider, uh, let's say, something like a lot of people love Shawshank Redemption. You don't uh, no, I don't consider it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Mind you, my mum put me on that movie and it was, I, I love the movie. Yeah. But I don't consider it a 10 out of 10. Mm. Like I said, nine, nine and a half. Mm. Yeah, but not a 10 out of 10. That's, these are my opinions. I mm. just think God what about Sandlot? One, Sandlot, not a 10 out of 10. No really? way a 10 out of 10. Yeah. No way a 10 out of 10. I would say... Um, the acting isn't as like... Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Sandlot had the best child actors Bro, on the I watched it. I watched it like... Look, apart from Squints... And doing the 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 best acting was from Squints pretending to have drowned and getting that kiss off that the the lifeguard. Oh my god! That's the best that acting. So many memories. I see. Right, my uncle, my uncle when he was younger looked like Squints. 
Oh yes. And he would like made up a story. He I tried to. He did that. I never believed you. He was like, oh, I was screens. Yeah. I brown pools. I pretend to drown. Yeah. And I was like, there's no, there's no female fooling? lifeguards that brown pools. What are you on about? <laughs> there's no lifeguards to begin with. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Your uncle seems like a very boastful person. He's he's a character. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I don't think there are any movies apart from Godfather 1 and 2 that can be considered 10 out of 10s or are 10 out of 10s. So my, what I want to know is, mm-hmm. apart from those two, what do you think, what movies do you think are the closest Are closest to the 10 out of 10? Well, for one, Sandlot. Okay. Social Network. Okay. In the Mood for Love. Assassination of Jesse James while the cover Robert Ford. Moneyball. So far, I've got two of, you, uh, two of them I can agree with. Godfather. Godfather yeah, too. we know the other. Um, I'm just waiting for one movie. Uh, uh, Fight Club. Um, seven. Seven. Is that the card one? Uh, no, that's David Fincher, serial killer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Usual cool. Suspects. Uh, Matrix. Uh, what else? Michael Clayton. Blade Runner 2049. Oh, it really is. Yeah. You, didn't, you haven't there. seen Blade Runner? I haven't watched it. Man. Oh, really? I've got, I've got it on my um, oh, wow. watch list on mm. Netflix. Prisoners. Oh, pri- you know what? Yeah, okay. I Prisoners. Can. Prisoners is. Um, anything with um, Roger Deakins. Anything with. Oh, No Country for Old Men. Got to. Got to That's the Clint one. Eastwood one, yeah? No, 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 no. no, no. That's the Coen Brothers. Uh, oh, I love Coen Brothers. Yeah. <gasps> So you don't know No Country for Old Men as no, Colin Brothers? No, I know, I know, I know, I know yeah. the like I know the movie, yeah. I know the title. I haven't seen, it, but yeah. I do like Colin. There was one movie by Colin Brothers that I've watched twice. Big First, Lebowski, goddamn love, but love Big, uh, Big uh, Lebowski. I didn't like that Big Lebowski. Come on. You told me to watch. So one movie that they released was uh, Inside Lewin Davis. Mm. I don't know if you remember. Mm, I, I know. Yeah, I know. The first time I watched it, I was like, bro, this is such a. Second time I watched it. I thought it's not oh it's not oh it's a good yeah, movie. Yeah. It was it was like okay, not okay. It was like it's all right. It's like a mm. good movie, mm. but it wasn't as what I thought it would. Mm. It was. Mm. I just love Oscar Isaac. He's a good actor. He's I a good actor. Him, I find him. I find him to be overused nowadays. He doesn't know how to select uh, good movies. No offense to Oscar Isaac, but you know, mm. Star Wars: Force Awakens is the most detrimental move to his career I no believe. it's not it's, it's, it's pushed his career it has but it's pushed for, it in, for in you, the wrong directions yeah for you yeah but for him I think it's pushed it to where he where he has uh, envisioned himself or where he thinks he wants to be I think it's pushed him in that direction he's, they've got character uh, not characters uh, they've got uh, toys of him now you know, which aren't selling they're, Star Wars they're, merchandise is actually declining they've got I think I think they have a a side movie being hey, done for him. Uh huh. Captain, I think his name is Captain Poe in the movie. I think oh, it's Captain yeah, Poe, something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. But like before that, he was doing like Ex Machina and these brilliant sci-fi. Yeah, roles he was. And, yeah. He did that um, America's Most Violent Year or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That was that was a slow but good that was movie. a slow burn movie. Yeah. Yeah, that was, it was a good movie. movie. I like slow burn movies. <coughs> Thus, <coughs> Lost in Translation, and that brings it around full circle. Well, today was a quick, and we uh, we tried to um, uh, rectify some of our uh, uh, shortcomings in the previous podcast. We kept it uh, clean, simple, and short, uh, straight to the point. We have other things to do. Yeah, 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 other things to do. That's that's mainly the, the reason. Why. Yeah, yeah. We could have talked further more yeah. on on these other things. Yeah. Plus, I got to make a short for bloody rendering on the editing. <laughs> Oh, do we have to make it short now for a rendering? No, it's I don't know. I'm trying to see if it helps out. Mm. Anyway, that's that's not something I want to worry you about, you know. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for listening in. Uh, as usual, oh, we forgot the movie recommendation. Oh, okay. Yes, what are we what are we recommending, Grammy? I was look. I was going to I was going to go with Sandlot, but because we both love the movie, mm-hmm. I'm not going to go with Sandlot. Okay. I'm going to go with something you haven't seen. Okay. That I watched recently. Okay, good. Um, I want to watch something new. Okay, so I w- I'm going to recommend Enola Holmes. Enola? Holmes. It's Holmes. on Netflix. Oh, that's the movie we discussed yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We discuss before. Right. I, w- I just want to see your take on a, on a Sherlock Holmes, but not a Sherlock Holmes movie. Because I, I, I feel like you like Sherlock Holmes. Yeah? I do. I watched the show and I liked... The Robert Downey... Oh, I love the movies. Yeah, actually, I love yeah. the movies. So I just want to—it's—it's it's not the same sarcasm and humor in as as Robert Downey Jr. Obviously, because it's not—it's a young girl. All right. I love. But there's yeah. still some humor and some. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. As, as long as um, 
the essence is retained, which is the mystery, yeah, yeah, there the is brilliant mystery. solving, yeah. the unrealistic solving. You know, that's what Sherlock Holmes is. But yeah, uh, I'm actually excited for this one because I haven't seen it. And I'm keen to see... I think that's what we should do from now on. We should just yeah. do things that either none of us have seen or one of us have seen. Not I agree. I agree. Yeah. And we should actually spice it up with like movies we hate because I feel like it will be much more entertaining to talk about <laughs> movies we hate than movies we love. I'm just trying to think about a movie I hate. Because we'd, la- we'd laugh about our stupidity, you know? Yeah. That's what human beings do. We laugh at our own stuff. I'm yeah. find out what that movie was. Anyway, <laughs> yep. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a good one. My name is Mac. Thank Bye. you for watching the Movie Burrito Podcast. Bye. You didn't say your name. Oh. oh okay. <coughs> My name is Batman. Oh, good, good. You revealed your identity. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.